What's going on, everybody? Level M Diecast unboxing today. This is the newest item, I guess you can say, from Matchbox. This is the Electric Drivers 12 pack. This can be found on Amazon. Uh, retails for about uh, 17 bucks. Um, it does consist of, as I mentioned, 12 models. Um, so kind of the way that I've set this up is I have not opened this yet, um, although I have kind of peeked at where the models are placed. It comes in a tray. So I've set this up in the back. The reason I've set this up is because all but one of these models is a re-release. It is um, something that Matchbox is uh, kind of taking a page out of Hot Wheels book, uh, just releasing the same things that have already been released over and over and over again. Uh, but we will check and see if there are any differences between these. The one model that is not here, that is the Tesla Model Y, that will be in mix number five, 2022. Uh, so it is not exclusive to this pack. This pack has no exclusive models. Um, it will not have any exclusive models. Technically right now it does have one. This is the way it comes. It comes in a sleeve. There is a tray uh, and the models are in the tray. They are wrapped with um, tissue paper. It is recyclable tray, of course. Um, I'm assuming the tissue paper is probably recyclable as well. This is the mix that's in there. These are the deets. So you want to get the deets from there. Um, it's it's really a it's really a bummer that there's no uh, exclusive models. There's no no uh, no new colors, no new nothing. So we'll pull the tray off, set the tray to the side. So this is the tray. So I did kind of peek at where the models were um, as far as kind of where they're sitting here so that we can go through them. So first one right here is going to be the Matchbox self-driving bus. This was the very first release color for that that came out two years ago. Uh, not a model that anybody really cares about at all. So here it is here. City bus. R09 is the new day code. This is the original up here, original on the left. See, they are the same tampo. Um, there's really no difference between the two of them. I mean, not even tampo quality, uh, except for maybe um, just placement of the tampo potentially. Looking at the other side. So, we'll look at it this way. There we go. So you gotta the the tampo is the same on both sides, but you gotta gotta rotate them the same. Now the printing is much bigger here on the new one than on the old one, for sure. And then hmm, just the way it's printed, I guess. This one is universal. This one not so universal. It's backwards. So the, the tampo is the exact same on this side, but then when you flip it over to the other side, it's backwards. You can see that this side has electric bus on this side, this side has electric bus on this side. Um, I guess that's a I guess that's a difference. They just flipped the tampo over. Um, I mean, it's good enough for me. This is the original release here, H15. So very interesting. All they did was flip the tampo. Because like I said, they're the same if you put them this way, but then if you flip them, the new one is is opposite on the other side. Um, and then of course, you know, just the blue is exactly the same. No difference there. So we'll put him back in there. Uh, next one down here, that is the BMW i3. Uh, that one, I believe if I remember correctly, was a nine pack exclusive. So a little bit of a slap in the face of those who paid for the nine pack exclusive with the black hood. Pull this one out. This is the original. The original is dated H15 or in 15. I apologize. Um, that one was eight, uh, in probably two, and this one was also in 15. And then this is our new one, R08. There's no base changes. Uh, there's a bit of a color change, uh, but it's not much. Um, but it is noticeable. The new one's a little bit darker. Uh, looking at the tampos in the front, they are the same. Black hood with the grills painted up, front details, fog lights, that kind of stuff. Same window, same interior color. Looking at the back, uh, the tail lights on the new one are definitely lighter. 
than on the old one. But not not a lot. But I guess I guess it's enough. I guess it's enough. I just hate when they do this kind of stuff because it's really not worth uh, a, a re-release on it. Put that guy down in there. Next one down should be the Honda E. 1E, E1, E1, something like that. Pulled out of its styrofoam. Uh, this was a new casting last year. So nothing fancy about it. I don't anticipate there'll be literally anything different about it. So it does still have the same wheels, same black uh, window. There is an interior in this, though, for sure. Um, I've actually drilled one open, so I can confirm that. Uh, tampo print on the front. Both say Honda E on the plate. Same details for the front print for sure. Same black top. Flipping around to the back, they both have Honda E. Both in the same style of font. Same taillight prints. Same white. The white is not different between the two. And then, of course, the base P18 was the original. R09 is our new one. Obviously, no base changes since this model's uh, barely just a year old, so a little bit of a bum out for that one. Uh, this one is the worst. Uh, this one down here should be the Levesque Taxi. Should be this one right here. Uh, this one's been released like three times in the same black uh, with no changes. Um, I don't think that Matchbox can do this in any other color. Uh, if they have those kind of models, they shouldn't make those castings. Um, there's no difference between the tampos as I anticipated. Um, you know, just a uh, simple tampos on the front, nothing fancy. Headlights, all that kind of stuff, tampoed up. They do have the same wheels. They are the same black, the kind of sparkly black, super dark windows. Um, I don't know if this have an interior or not. I have not drilled one of these open. Uh, definitely not a desirable casting for sure. Uh, rear details look the exact same. Uh, even the uh, brake lights are the same shade of red. Um, just, you know, basic. Got your TX on the plate. Just nothing different between the two of those. Uh, looking at the base deets. So N21 was the original release. Uh, P08 is this one. Uh, no changes on the bases, unfortunately. So that one's a wash. Um, additionally, on top of that, uh, this was re-released also in the best of, which is P10. Um, so not all that great, not all that great, but, uh, it's exact same version. So we've seen that, uh, quite a few times, which is unfortunate, uh, speedy express. So that one, uh, came in a five pack, uh, we'll pull this off. That came in a five pack, uh, last year. So this is the one here in this pack. This is the international e-star. Uh, again, not going to be any difference. I, I anticipate between these. Uh, there is the two versions there. Um, same orange between the two. Uh, same tempo prints on the side. Same, you know, Speedy Express. This casting was modified, so it's the modified version on both of these. Um, the seals are the same on both of these versions, unfortunately. Um, like on the door. Um, you know, just, just, a, just a bummer. No rear print or anything on these. And then, of course, the other side. Uh, is the same as well. It says, how is my driving? Looking at the base deets, there's a significant change in the base color. Uh, dramatic. Uh, holy cow. So, original one, P01 on the bottom. This new one, R03 on the top. Uh, that base is a huge uh, color difference. I mean, you can see that plain as day. It's even a little bit darker um, outside the camera. So, that's pretty cool. I like that there's at least something a little bit different. That Something like that I can take. It's the rest of everything else that's kind of rough. Uh, BMW i8. This is a, a one that uh, Matchbox has just royally screwed up. Um, this is another release of the black one. Um, I don't know why we couldn't have got the white one in this pack. The one that was in the best of series. I don't know why we couldn't get the white one. That makes no sense to me. Um, but this is another exact same release of the black one uh, which is right here the original one right here it's stamped it is uh l28 and then the one on the top is r08 
Um, there is a little bit of shade difference in the plastic of the base, but that's it's minimal. Uh, looking at the models on the side here, they both have the same blue striping on the side, same uh, ten spoke wheels, same black kind of sparkly black metallic. Uh, looking at the front, they both have the same tampo details, even the same brown color in the headlights. Uh, no changes there. Same uh, plate detail on there as well, which is unfortunate. Same color interior, same windows. Uh, and then there are no rear tampos on this one at all. So it's definitely unfortunate. I don't know why we couldn't have got the white one. It, it just blows me away that they couldn't put the white one in this pack. It just absolutely makes no sense. Um, and it's just a, it's a real shame um, from the Matchbox team for that lack of, you know, kind of helping out other other market customers, I guess you can say. Uh, so this is that little tug truck. Uh, this comes with two interiors. There's no interior, and then there's uh, full interior. So this thing is uh, not a popular casting for sure. Um, they never stated whether it was electric or not, but now they're saying it is electric, which is perfectly fine. I don't think there's any issue with that. Just make it what it is. This is the new one. Melton uh, Deco on the side. This is the original one that we dropped down. Um, so looking at the sides here, you know, same tempo, same colors, same wheels, same black base, uh, no differences, same red, same interior, same, you know, silver interior, same uh, minimal tempo print on the front, even the same size font and all that good stuff. Uh, no differences on this side either. So it's unfortunate. Original one, you can see P20. And then this one is R08. So this casting is just a couple of years old. So um, there's only been a couple versions released thus far. So obviously there was not going to be any pay base changes, but that's unfortunate. It just, it is what it is. Um, it's just kind of a, kind of a bummer that uh, there's no differences. You know, they could have had a, could have given it an interior variation or something. Uh, now this one right here, this is the Nissan Leaf. This is a brand new 2022 uh, version. This came in the EV5 pack. So that is not on single. It is here in this pack right here. Fairly certain. There we go. So this is in the pack versus the, um, I guess, original one. I would assume that these were probably made right next to each other. Uh, so P50 and R08. So they were definitely not made uh, right after each other. They were made several months later, the new one was. Uh, but as far as the tampos go, it is the same tampo on the front, same details for the headlights, grill, surround, same black top, same red, same uh, gunmetal small six spokes, uh, which is unfortunate. Looking at the rear, same uh, prints between the two, says leaf on the plate. A little bit darker on the new ones uh, for the leaf print, uh, but that's about it. And then there is a little bit of a shade difference in the tail light color um, on the new one versus the quote unquote old one. So, you know, another another missed opportunity uh, by the Matchbox team to uh, give us something different. This one, I guess, is a little bit more understanding just because it is a 22 model and it is a new color for once, uh, which is pretty rare. Get that guy down there in the bottom. Going on to the other EV van. This is also from the brand new 2022 EV5 pack. So this one is not going to have any differences either. At least I don't think it will. Pull him out. Again, P50 and R08. The bases on these are the same. No differences in the color either. It's metallic green. Looks pretty good. It's actually a pretty nice color. Uh, and then here is the EV on the side. Same tampos on each in same colors. Uh, no difference between the two. This is the updated casting. So um, the molding is all going to be the same. No front or rear tampos. And then looking at the opposite side. Um, it is exactly the same. Exactly the same uh, verbatim. Same size wheels as well with those disc hubs. So another, uh, another bummer. Uh, but again, this one's a little bit more understanding just because it is a new deco for 2022. 
Now, you'll see that that one is empty. This is going to be the Model Y. This is a brand new casting. Um, I have not seen this yet, so we're going to find this out together. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. That looks pretty good. Now, you guys will know uh, Mix 4 is now dropping um, as the, at the time of this video. So, that does have the Model Y in it in blue. I'm sorry, the Model X in blue. So, uh, that is not this casting. That is the Model X, although they look similar. Um, and they're similarly built with the glass uh, top on it. Uh, but this is the Y. This is kind of the small crossover for Tesla. And, of course, they all seem to debut in the type of red color. Uh, this is a really nice version, though. It's a really nice casting. It's a brand new casting, so looks pretty good. Zero emissions. It is a dual motor model, so that's pretty sweet. Full tampos on the rear. There is the Deets on the base. Looking pretty good. So pretty happy to get this one. Brand spanking new casting. It's a pretty sizable casting, too. It's pretty nice, actually. Uh, moving on to the Nissan Leaf. Yes, there's two Nissan Leafs in here. Uh, just like there was two of those EV vans. This is the original release of the Leaf L31. Um, we also did get it once uh, last year. Again, P04. Um, there was very, very minor changes to the paint shade on that model. So we'll pull out our current one. These uh, tissue papers like ultra tightly wrapped. Um, so... Pulling it out. Okay. So the original is on the left. New one is on the right, as always. Uh, it is a different white for sure. Um, it's pretty dramatic. So the one on the left is definitely more pearl white. Uh, the one on the right is more standard gloss white. They do both have the small six spokes in chrome. Looking at the front, they both have the same tampos. Same details for the headlights, same details for the grill. No differences there, unfortunately. Looking at the rear, the two leaf plates look the same. Uh, there is significant color difference in the taillights, but I really hate that variation when they do re-releases because it's just a shade of red. The original on the left is much, much darker than the right. Um, and then, of course, they still have the same glass top that covers the whole roof it is the same level of tint uh with the same interior as well so it looks okay base deets obviously not going to be anything different l31 versus r09 no updates or no changes to the base so it is what it is put this guy right there pink all right, last one in the mix is the Tesla Roadster. This was the very first release last year in this uh, matte, um, like almost metallic style of uh, red. It's a fantastic color, actually. It's really, really nice. Uh, P30 is the date on this one. This is the last model in the mix. So much um, tissue paper on there. Uh, so taking a look at the models. They are the both uh, the same gunmetal gray for the five sp or the uh, ten spoke wheels, um, same color, although the new one doesn't seem as metallic as the old one, but I mean that's that's just minimal, minimal. Uh, taking a look at the front tampos, they are the same. Got your Tesla logo, got your headlights printed up, looks pretty good. It's it's I right. uh, taking a look at the base. I'm sorry, the rear does have zero emission on the plate for both. It does say Tesla with some details for the uh, taillights. There is definitely a color shade variation. Um, it's really hard to see, but the new one, it's almost like the new one on this side has a little bit of a chameleon effect going on where it gets kind of lighter and darker overall. Versus the original one that just it's the same dark red all, all through. It's kind of interesting. Um, and then, of course, there is the base. Uh, new one is stamped with R08. So, no changes to the base, unfortunately. So, 
It's a little bit of a bummer, but there you go. So overall, not a bad you know mix. Um, the problem is is that there really is no point in buying this 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 set. I mean, you get nothing from this if you're a a longtime Matchbox collector. Um, you don't gain anything out of the set. You do get the Model Y first to market, I guess you can say. But, you know, unless you're a huge Tesla fan, not really worth it to do that, unfortunately. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, it's just a marketing gimmick. And it's, a, it's an Amazon thing. So, there you go. Um, as long as Matchbox keeps bringing stuff to Amazon, I'm okay with it. Uh, I just wish it wasn't re-released stuff. So there you go. That is your electric driver's 12-pack Amazon uh, Matchbox set for 2022. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know if you're disappointed. Uh, I definitely am. So we're going to roll out. We're going to catch you next time. Level in the cast. Peace.